Hi everyone, in this video we're going to use Windows and connect to a Linux server. We're going to use software called Secure Shell or SSH to do that. First thing you need to do is check to see if SSH is installed on your Windows machine. To do that, you click in the search bar, you select the command prompt, and now you type SSH and you should see a usage message. If you don't see a usage message, then you need to install SSH on your Windows machine. And you can do that by typing in the search bar and clicking settings. Then you want to go home and look at your apps and then you want to manage optional features. So you can see here that open SSH client is installed on my Windows machine. If you're, if it's not installed, then you can go to add a feature and then you want to scroll down to the O's and it should be right here above open SSH server. And when you select that, obviously it's not present in my list because it's installed. Now you'll see a button to install and you want to install the client, not the server. Once you do that, back in the command prompt, you should see SSH. Now to use SSH to connect to a machine, you need to have an account on the machine. A system administrator, your boss, or your professor should be able to get you an account. Then you need to know the machine name and the domain name. So for example, let's say that I work at a company and my username is Mark, and then I wanna to connect to the machine called Computer One and then the name of my company is company.com. So this would establish, attempt to establish a remote connection to a machine named Computer One within my company's domain. Once you have that information, then you can type in your username and then the name of the machine And when you hit enter, it will, it will attempt to make a remote connection. And if that connection is successful, you'll be asked to provide a password. And again, your system administrator should be able to give you a default password. Now, the first time you connect to a server, it stores the fingerprint of that machine in a directory on your laptop. And this just keeps track of the machines that you've connected to before. And there are also some security things going on behind the scene with these fingerprints. So if you know that you wanna to connect to this machine, you can type yes. You'll never see this message again unless something changes. Uh, and now it is asking for my password. So I type in my password and now I am logged in. And you can see here that I've been given what's called the command prompt. And this gives me command line access to the Linux server. We'll go through Linux commands in another video after you're finished with your work on the server, to terminate the connection, you just type log out. And that terminates the connection. You can see that the connection was closed. And now in my command prompt, I am typing commands on my Windows machine. 